Okay, tell me if you have this problem. Have you ever felt lost about what to do on the weekend? I know the last few weekends I felt this way. So our weekend insider, Chelsea Davis, is back with us today for a look of uh, what's coming up this weekend. So, I, you know, and every Friday I say this, I, I look to our weekend insiders, the other two are gone, but I look to exactly. you guys for like what to do, and then I completely forget what it is you've told me to exactly. do. Exactly, and we haven't been here for two weeks. Yes. So I'm sure you did feel lost. So no, I, I have. No, seriously, <laughs> I was like, what are we going to do this weekend? So Well, and every weekend we tell you guys what you should be doing, and often we don't get to make it out to these events, so I'm literally explaining my weekend, or I'm about to, so okay. I'm pretty excited Let's about this. Let's hear it. Um, we'll start with Sunday. Sunday we have the Texas Veggie Fair, which is not necessarily just for vegetarians. Um, they've got music, cooking demonstrations. So this is going on at Riverstone Park down by, I think that's down by Katie Trail, right? Yeah. Yes. So this will be um, not so much like um, a farmer's market, maybe a little bit more a like, little bit like more. a festival. There, like exactly. A there were 7,000 people that came out for it last year. So you've got local music. Mm. Um, I mean, there were probably about 400 people dancing. It was really great. So um, it's not just for vegetarians, and really it's just to provide a healthier and kinder, more sustainable life. So it's just kind of promoting that, yeah. you know, which any, is great. Any idea on the musical acts? Um, I'm not, there? I know it's a lot of local music. I believe the room sounds and a few other bands that, that we've actually mentioned a lot here. Oh, good. So, yeah. Good. Okay, that's Sunday. <laughs> exactly. And hopefully the weather's going to be gorgeous. I think so. I think we're going to have a great weekend. Good. So moving backwards, Friday or Saturday night, you can go out to the Midnight Rambler, which is the new subterranean bar that just opened in the Jewel, um, where PM Lounge was. Yes. Okay, and I've heard about this place. Exactly. And just the fact that it's subterranean, I think, mm -hmm. sounds kind of cool. It's re And it's really sexy. Can I say that? It's yeah. Really, I mean, it is really, really hot. Is it like, so. is it like a speakeasy or what is it? It is. It's a cocktail lounge and it's coming from Chad and Christy who did uh, Milk and Honey in New York. They own, I think it's Buttons and Cuffs is their company. So it's a beautiful spot, amazing cocktails. They actually have a cocktail or a shot that is pho based. So it literally, ha I mean, I'm, they have a crazy array of cocktails. It's so what based? Pho. What? Like pho. Oh. Pho. Oh, oh. <laughs> She's like, okay, wait, I'm what? like, what? <laughs> what is this drink that I don't know about? Um, okay, so that sounds pretty cool yeah. for Friday Cocktail. or Saturday night. Yes, and they are open to the public seven days a week, opening at 5 p.m. So anytime you can make it down there, even if it's a Monday or a Tuesday, go down for some cocktails. It's very worth it. And it's Rolling Stones song, so way to go. Oh, good. And then um, Saturday, we have the uh, Chipotle's Cultivate Festival, um, which is amazing. They've got ton of music, uh, Amos Lee, uh, Miss Mister, and these are all free shows, so that's really great. And yeah, this and you, you is... would literally pay a lot to see Amos Lee, I think, exactly. especially. Yeah. yeah, this is at Lake, Lake Carolyn in Irving, free to the public, and it starts at 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., cooking, games, I mean, all kinds of stuff out Chipotle's there Chipotle's well. like the coolest company. I know. Aren't they? And like now that they're getting into like the music scene and they're doing these kind of festivals with yes. lots of music. They're doing and... this in every city. And I know that the food is not just going to be their basic menu. My boyfriend was like, well, I can't go. I'm on a diet. I'm like, well, I think that they'll have options for everyone. Hey, you so. can eat really skinny at Chipotle. I'm here to tell you. That's they, what I hear. You, you really can. That's so. what I hear. I love it. That's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, anything else? Stuff or, going I mean, we're going to be weekend. really busy. There's a lot that. of food festivals this weekend, a lot of free stuff. So get out there, take advantage and then of it. Also, isn't it the last weekend of the State Fair? It this is. This weekend, yes. too. So if you didn't get your fill, is it is it two weeks? I think it closes next weekend. Oh, okay. So you've got you've got two more weekends. Okay. So yeah. either way, you you've got a weekend of a ton of stuff to do. So if you haven't gotten your fill of fried food, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a lot of food fest this weekend. So this is, it's, Colleen, say that again. Did you? This is the last weekend. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. This is the last weekend, so go get your fried food on. Yeah. But great, great plans this weekend. Absolutely. Good. It's going to be a good weekend. Okay, thank you for thanks, making Lisa. my plans for me. <laughs> okay, for all the great weekend insider info, you can just log on to our website, otherbroadcasttv.com. You can replay the segment, and then we've got all their listings um, there as well, and a link to their website. And we'll have more broadcasts right after this.